Hello and how's everyone doing? I hope you're all having a great week. I am really excited because I was finally able to get my hands on one of these Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collections. I've been looking around for one of these since the product got released. Um, was not able to find it anywhere at any of my local retailers, local card stores or anything. And then finally I posted about it online and one of my friends saw it and they fortunately work at a game store, uh, Good Games in Indianapolis, Indiana. And they had just gotten one in stock and they told me that they were actually selling it at retail $99.99, not some extreme marked up price. So I was able to hop onto their website and snag it and get it here for it and to show open up for you guys. So let's get right into it. Super excited. I was honestly expecting to have to pay quite a markup for this, uh, but we're not going to have to because Good Games was able to get us hooked up with an amazing price. So let's go ahead and see what all comes in here. I, I, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. I'm sure you, you've all probably seen some other people open it, um, but here is my first time getting to see everything in here in person. I've never actually gotten to look at any of the promos before or anything like that. And so um, just to show you again, uh, this is the covering that's wrapped around it, just kind of detailing everything that does come inside. And the box is honestly really, really good quality. Uh, as you can see, it has this nice Pokeball on here. Uh, on the front, Sword and Shield is in a, a nice black gloss finish. And on the back, it has it in that golden black, which just looks really, really nice. And of course, it says Pokemon on both the sides. Now, let's see here. We just go ahead, and I believe it just opens up from the top. Yep, here we go. There's like a, it's a magnet on top, so it just opens up right here. Oh, okay, yeah, this is, this is really cool. Let me get this at a better angle for you guys. So here is what it looks like whenever you first open it. it has this nice Zashin and Zamazenta on there. And then whenever you spin it around, I'll try to open it without knocking anything around. You get this nice golden, you see sword and shield. You get these nice compartments. Um, I can't really get it, but um, as you can see on here, you can see uh, Zashin and Zamazenta there on the front. And in here, uh, this tray, like I said, I've never actually gotten to open one of these before. I haven't watched too many videos, so I'm not the most familiar. You get your just trading card rule book. And this is a series guide, and there's the code card. I'm going to be keeping that for myself. But here's that series player's guide. I believe this is just like a what comes in Elite Trainer boxes. Uh, just tells you how to play the game, shows you some cards. And then I believe there's a list of all the promos in this one. Yeah, so this one has a promo set list. And they're just really, really cool promos. Um, let's go ahead and flip towards the back. Because I don't believe it shows anything that hasn't really not been released yet. But the big thing is this special delivery Charizard. This is the only one that's in this list that actually hasn't come out yet. Uh, it is going to be a special promo being released in the Pokemon Center. As I'm sure most of you guys have seen, here is the special delivery Pikachu. Unfortunately, the order I had made to get mine, um, I, I made an error on it, so it didn't actually process through all the way. So unfortunately, I did miss out on that. And I believe those are not boxes, okay. All right, now this middle tray slides out. There's just a bunch of booster packs. And I believe these are the condition markers they are. So let's go ahead and just get these out of here. Oh, these look so nice. I'm a big fan of these damage counters and the dice. Looks like one of the bags opened up slightly and spilled out. So that is okay. I was going to be opening these for myself anyways. Oh yeah, as you can see right here on the, the edge of it, this one kind of split open. So these dice fell out of it. Uh, let's go ahead and just put those back in there. But they are different... Um, Damage uh, damage markers with all the different amounts on there. A really, really nice quality. They're nice in metal. You get it in black and in gold. Again, the condition markers. There's the poison. And let me see if I can get the, uh, the burned also show. There we go. And then it's just a nice gold on the back. 
And then I believe these are just some, uh, I'm not sure what these ones are for. I wouldn't be surprised if they're like uh, for maybe different kind of status conditions or just like a divider if you want to put cards in here. And now for this compartment, here we go. This is one of the, the main reasons to buy it. The Golden Zamazenta V. Oh, this card is beautiful. And this compartment, you get the Zacian Golden V. All these cards look so cool. All right, let's go and set that up there. And then let's see, that's just an empty little thing. So maybe something spilled out in there. We'll find out. But you have some Zacian sleeves. And of course, you also get some Zamazenta sleeves as well. There are more booster packs in each of these. So we got some more of those. Some more packs. I'll go over all the packs here at the, at the end. And here is a Zamazenta coin. Let me see if I can show that. That looks really nice. And in here, there is the Zacian coin. There we go. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, I am so pumped to get this. Then there's just more dividers in there. And that is about it for this. Okay, let's go ahead and get the packs over here. Let's go ahead and get this closed up. Okay, let's go ahead and just set the promos up here against it so we can have like a nice little backdrop. Here we go. Oh, that is beautiful. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at the packs that come in here. I believe it's just Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, uh, Rebel Clash. I think it's four packs of each set is what I want to say. Yeah, that, that's what it looks like. Okay, so yeah, there's four packs of Sword and Shield, four packs of Rebel Clash, four packs of Darkness Ablaze, and four packs of Vivid Voltage. And we're going to rip into all of this right now, so let's just get right into it. We're just going to start off with Sword and Shield and work our way all the way up to Vivid Voltage. So out of base Sword and Shield, of course, you're wanting to get the Zacian and Zamazenta cards. And then the starters, I believe, are just regular Vs in this. Um, or they, they might not be Vs. I believe that's Rubble Clash. But we can also get the Full Art Marnie and the Rainbow Marnie. Those have shot up quite a bit in price. So let's see. What can we get out of these packs? A Reverse Salandit and our Rare. Oh, well, <laughs> look at that. A Full Art Zacian V. We were just talking about that. Wow, and it goes right there with that golden Zacian V. Look at that. How awesome is that? Oh man, I don't have my pack of sleeves over here, so I'm just going to set these pulls up here, or actually I can set these just here in the back, show those off for right now. Wow, what a way to start off with a full art Zacian V. Okay, so this one, we're starting off with an Electric Energy, Drizzle, an Evolution Incense, Salazzle, Ball Toy, Salandit, Galarian Ponyta, Minchino, Sobble, Ordinary Rod, and a Raichu Non-Hollow Rare. All right. Okay, we're starting off with a Water Energy, Doug Trio, Switch, an Energy Retrieval, Wooloo, a Joltik, Solandit, Clobopus, Ghastly, a Reverse Hollow Silly Cobra, and a Snorlax Rare. I do really like Snorlax, so that is a nice non-hollow rare to be hitting. I will take that all day. Okay, now for our last pack of just the base set of Sword and Shield. Let's see, what can we find? All right, we have a Dark Energy, a Double, Quillfish, Pokey Kid, Rhyhorn, Rookie D, Krabby, Garuki, a Mudbray, a Reverse Hollow Wooloo, and a Sanaconda for the rare. All right, I'd have to say Sword and Shield was nice to us, giving us a full art. Let's see, what can we find in Rebel Clash? 
I know uh, big cards to get out of this set would be any of the Rainbow VMAX starters, uh, Rainbow Dragapult VMAX, and then uh, full art, I believe Sonia and Olina are in this set. So those are the big cards to get out of Rebel Clash. Oh, and along with the full art and rainbow rare of Boss's Orders, a Reverse Hollow Palpitoad, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. All right, let's see. Next pack of Rebel Clash. We're starting off with a Fire Energy, Drac Cloak, Lampet, Galar Mine, Coughing, Bronzor, Toxel, Litwick, Lotad, a Hat Tenno Reverse, and our rare is going to be a Dragapult V. All right. If we can get an ultra rare out of each one of the sets, that would be really cool. I will take it. Okay, let's see what else does Rebel Clash have in store for us. Maybe we can get the VMAX Dragapult to go with our V. Who knows? Uh, let's see what we can get. A Magmar Electabuzz Squobit, Snover Natsu, a Reverse Natsu, and a Rare Aegislash. All right, final pack of Rebel Clash. What does it have in store for us? Can we get another Ultra Rare out of Rebel Clash? Is it going to be nice to us? So we have an Electric Energy, Palpitoad, Capture Energy, Chatot, a Galarian Darumaka, Hatena, a Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, a Reverse Hollow Heliolisk, and our rare is going to be a Bolton V. Okay, that is another really good card out of Rebel Clash as well. As I knock everything over, let's try to set that back up. There we go. All right, now we're moving on to what I would say are the really exciting sets with Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage. These ones have the big hitters like Charizard VMAX, Pikachu VMAX, and then, uh, of course, the Amazing Rares and Vivid Voltage. So let's see. A Fire Energy, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's saying that we're, we're calling up the Charizard right now. So let's see. I've never actually personally pulled the Charizard VMAX from... Darkness Ablaze, I've only gotten the one from Champion's Path, so I can't complain, but I would like to see it. And our rare is going to be a Scizor VMAX. I almost thought we had a Charizard there. Oh, wow. Let's go and set that in the back. Wow. If that would have been a Charizard, this would have been the most insane Ultra Premium collection. But we do still have three more packs of Burning, or not Burning Shadows, Darkness Ablaze left. So let's see, what else can we get? A Psychic Energy, Rose, Semipor, Lunatone, Teddy Ursa, Panseer, Morlul, a Wishy Washy, Q Font, a Reverse Hollow Blaziken, which is a rare, and a Manetric Non Hollow Rare. All right. Um, I think I messed that up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I definitely messed this one up. That is my bad. I'm not sure where exactly the energy card. Okay, there's the energy. So I don't think it's messed up too bad. I think we still have the rare in that last slot. So let's see. We have a reverse hollow Excavalier in our rare. Ooh, it is. Ooh, a full art Piers. All right, we've just been getting hit after hit with this box. That is amazing. All right, full art Pierce, I will take that. And we have one more pack of Darkness Ablaze to go. Let's see, can we end it off with three ultra rares? Doesn't look like it, but let's see if we can find a good reverse hollow out of here. So we have a Water Energy, Toxapex, Big Parasol, Shinotic, Skitty, Pan Sage, Golet, Vanillite, Trap Inch, a Reverse Hollow Larvitar, and a Rare Star Raptor. All right, moving on to our final four packs. It's all Vivid Voltage from here on out. 
Let's see, can we get a Pikachu to go along with all the rest of our awesome pulls from today? Or even just a, an amazing rare. I'll take any one of the amazing rares. Though I would like to see probably Rayquaza or Jirachi the most out of all of them. We have seen a lot of Zamazenta, so that would probably be the last one I want to see. A Reverse Hollow Pineco and a Mudsdale non-hollow rare. All right, let's see, next pack of Vivid Voltage. We're starting off with a Dark Energy, Charmeleon, Pincurchin, a Trumbeak, Galarian Meowth, Chimico, Blitzel, Slugma, Beldum, a Reverse Hollow Galarian Meowth, and a Metagross Non-Hollow Rare. Right, we've gotten ultra rares from all the other sets. Let's see. Can Vivid Voltage step it up with these last couple packs? All right. Here's a Grass Energy, Rocky Helmet, Alistair, Matang, Mudbray, Slugma, Wismer, Execute, Woobat. Oh, there we go. An amazing rare Raikou and an Executor for the rare all right, an amazing rare Raikou. Let's take it. Let's go ahead and set that in the back there. Okay, so there we go. Vivid Voltage finally joined the party. Finally joined the hit column. So now this last pack is just icing on top of the cake. Well, let's see what can we find. I swear, if we get a Rainbow Rare Pikachu V Max, I am going to lose my mind. Even just a regular Pikachu VMAX or any, honestly, any ultra rare that would put this box just over the edge. All right, a Manetric Reverse Hollow and our rare is going to be, it is a Rainbow Rare. It's not the Pikachu or else you'd see the color here on the edge. But let's see, it is an Alistair Rainbow Rare. Wow. Like, <laughs> this box was ridiculous with, with all the ultra rares we got. Wow. Let's go ahead and just knock all this down. And let's just show you guys again everything that we just got out of here. So let's again start off with just these beautiful promos. These alone are, are worth the box in my opinion. The box is amazing quality. All the supplies you get out of it. Like I, I would buy it even without the booster packs. So here again are the pulls. A Full Art Zashin V, Rainbow Rare Alistair, an amazing rare Raikou, a Scizor VMAX, Bolton V, and that Full Art Piers, and then of course a Dragapult V as well. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, uh, if you want to go check out Good Games, I will put a link to their website in the description down below. Uh, definitely check them out. They are ran by some great people, uh, some really, really just they, they want to help the community. They don't want to upcharge you guys like uh, like what some of these people are with reselling all these products on online, like just buying at all the stores. They want to make sure that everyone's being treated fair and equally. So definitely go give them a check. Go check them out. And I will see you guys later.